So I said to you I'd have a special guest with us on this part of the episode, and we are talking about the BRWPF. Uh, Shani Milan's with us, our tech manager. Shani, thanks for coming on board. No worries, how are you? Very good, mate. So, we've talked about the benefits of this. You've been dealing with a lot of customers around the country of recent times. You hear all their problems, all their headaches, all their pain points. Mm -hmm. So, where is this at the moment? What, what have you, what's the feedback you've been getting on this grade versus things that are weldable sheets or bitumen sheets? And, and probably from the perspective of both the waterproof and the tiler. Uh, well, it's just mainly the ease of application. So, they feel that it's the product has alleviated a lot of headaches for them in terms of um, turnaround and you know ease of application in in the sense of not needing any, any sort of additional equipment yeah. um, no welding equipment <clears throat> uh, no need for sort of a wet application the dry application itself it easy so it's pretty quick it's super quick you know there's no drying time in terms of what you have better the, the membrane with down with because it is it is already in the one component. Mm. So you get a lot of inquiries with timber flooring, we see structure floor, we see marine ply still being used for internal wet areas mm. and a lot of waterproofers are asking about what preparation, they get a lot of prep work on timber flooring. This overcomes all that doesn't it? Because it just bridges all the joints uh, yeah. and direct stick virtually onto... Yeah, direct stick and, and also having the anti-fracture property. Um, property in there as well. With the, the, you know, the waterproofer and then the tile of that piece of mine. So with the detailing side around the perimeters, are you finding that the guys are, you mentioned about dry, not wet, mm. are they going with the, the PF flashing tape at the perimeter wall floor junction or still using the Elasto with something like the 38 or the express membrane? Um, they really, it really down to preference. So you can utilize both systems for, with the application. Um, and the only wet application you need to do is obviously just to detail the joints. Um, with something like the Express, the guys can get on there and tile in less than an hour. So, um, but yeah, it's it's really down to preference. So where guys like using the the B50 versus the uh, the Butyl, it's it's, it's really. And, and internal areas, there's no dangerous odors. You mentioned that before, but we've seen some external jobs where you've been talking to our guys up in Queensland. Gerson's mm -hmm. done a job where he actually went over exi old existing tiles. Yeah. So just run us through that because those jobs come up. We hear them every week here about failed systems but they can't pull up the old tiles or they don't want to pull up the old floors mm. so how do we go about that so with, with this product here it's pretty much just taking off the release paper and away you go it's as simple as that so where as long as the tiles are sound mm -hmm. that there's no hollow spots no cracking tiles tiles that are noticed to be lifting removed, then yeah. yeah so if there's, as long as the substrate sound then you know the, the pf brw just does the job, up. yeah. Do you, um, with the grout joints, if you've got tight grout joints with minimal depth, mm. which you'd expect the outside, you can go straight over. But if you had deeper grout joints, some of those old school floors, uh, we would like, just use like a leveling finish or a level YDM in, in those joints That's first right. and then... Yeah, so it's almost, like, it's the almost like a, a regrout, you could call it, um, with the 11 YDM, um, or just squeegee it on if you, if you want that faster application. And once it dries and apply the... The BRW. You know, we've still got a lot of guys that will prefer to do their waterproofing on top of the screen. Mm -hmm. In that situation, we'd still recommend the E60 primer first to yeah, definitely. prevent the, the yeah, vapor yeah. because this is a it's a vapor barrier membrane as well. Mm. So you would want to get the um, E60 down, then allow that to dry, and then you can go straight over. Otherwise, it doesn't go direct. If it was internally, for example, yeah, no sun on it, yeah, and the moisture can can find its way through the bottom substrate. This could go directly over it, and yeah. we're just the GP primer. GP primer, yeah. But um, I mentioned in a couple of episodes before about the metal substrates where you've got to flash, things like puddle flanges, plastic flashings, etc. Mm -hmm. This overcomes all those. It's a, it's a dream, really, isn't it? We're doing yeah, it ourselves out of sale of the OP, really. But yeah, it, and, and and like you mentioned, it's you know no no need to do a separate butyl square around the puddle flange. <coughs> it all bridges over all the joints. You know, sky on flooring upstairs. You don't need to detail every single joint individually. It's just it bridges everything, sticks to everything, and then it's ready to, to put the finishes on there. And, and from a tireless perspective, because I know you're hot on always the mm. compatibility of uh, adhesives, screed additives, etc. Mm. We know this fabric um, is, is very user friendly when it comes to screed systems. Yeah, well it definitely, um, <laughs> the tight adhesive definitely bonds to it. Yeah. Um, so, no, no issues there either. I don't, I don't really know what else to say about it. It's, you know, it really is, an all-in-one sort of product that it's so easy to apply so it's um yeah the feedback we've been getting is really good really good feedback yeah uh, look and I, and I know that um we're always trying to take technology to another level 
from Gripset's point of view, it's all about the speed of application. Contractors need to earn their money. We want to improve the quality of what, how buildings are, are waterproof in this country. But this gives you the quality and the speed and the price, and that's that's really the important piece of it. Without, you know, you can work in a home. You can be with actually with if it was a remedial job where you actually had people living in the home. Mm. We've got no hazardous primers being used, there's no bituminous systems, etc. Yeah. straight down, and then there's no bleed of any bitumen, etc. And that brings me to the point of when this is used externally mm. with the, the, the flashing tape, even when we use that where they don't want a skirting tile, they can texture directly over this on, yeah. a, on a blue board flooring. So there we go. Yeah. So there are, there are props are just given away there, but anyway, <laughs> the PF BRW, you've seen it for yourself and you've um, heard it from the man, our tech manager on that. So I did forget to mention, Shandy. Mm. that uh, one of the systems that this has been specified for has been in conjunction with the BRW HD. So Shandy, um, the BRW HD system is also compatible mm. with this. And we've been talking see. about 20 year systems. Yep. Where we can use the HD system first, down as the base layer. This on top, you get a double layer system. Mm. You can tile directly or screw directly over this. Yep. And it gives you a bulletproof finish mm. in terms of a waterproof, uh, high strength, high adhesion, Good for tiling, speed of application, flood test very quickly. Yeah. Um, have we even with our GC range, we haven't really been able to offer it that quick with those mm. 20 year systems compared to what we can do with the HD and the PF grade together. So there's a choice of application there. How do you how do you explain that to the tiles? Or when when would you see a need for that sort of application with that 20 year system or that HD with the PF grade? Do you think? Well, it'd be that these critical projects projects where you know there might be. Um, a lot of spend in terms of the bathrooms themselves and they really want to protect their their asset for years and years to come and they want that peace of mind then it's it's there it's, it's i'm thinking even like some of these problem balcony jobs where balconies 100 you know, so yeah that was going to be my next moves, yeah. yeah so yeah balconies uh rooftop terraces that sort of thing where you know they want that tile finish and if they wanted to go even a further point they could always the beauty of the system is it is even though it's a sheet system you can use a liquid with it that's right and all our liquids are compatible so that's yeah. a great great method Shani thanks for joining me on Silver for Good I'll get you on again when we need a hand on uh, some of the, the finer details but if you've got any questions please throw them our way to a tech services Shani works with all the guys out in the field you've got all our team out there ready to help you or come to tech services at Gripset Industries Thanks for joining us at Seal for Good. Good luck with the BRW range, guys. This is the grade to make your job fly faster at a higher quality and a better finish. We'll see you next time.